Open staking on Harmony is here, and with only 320 seats up for grabs in the first phase, it's time to take a closer look at the bidding process. Huh? Yes, there's a bidding process for this first batch of seats to ensure a broad distribution of staking power. But fear not, it's fair, and it's pretty easy to understand. So here's how it works. Imagine there are three seats up for grabs and four excited potential validators ready to bid for them. Alice, Carol, Bob, David. Someone's gonna miss out, but who and why? During the bidding, Alice bids three, David bids four, Carol bids 10, and Bob bids 18. So there you have it. The seats go to Bob, Carol, and David. Alice is outbid, so she doesn't get a seat. Poor Alice. Never mind, she can always delegate and add her stake to any validator she fancies. Oh. So now you're probably thinking Moneybags Bob with his bid of 18 will hog all the staking rewards and squeeze out the little guys because of his relative staking weight. Yeah. But not so fast, Bob. You forgot about effective proof of stake. What? Rewards are actually calculated using the median bid. With bids of 3, 4, 10, and 18, that means the median bid was 10. And that means Bob's final staking reward is capped to only 11.5 bids worth, or 115% of the median. Carol receives exactly 10 bids worth of reward since she is the median. And while David only bid 4, his rewards are set at 8.5 bids worth of rewards, or 85% of the median. Now, if Bob had been smarter, he would have made two separate bids of 9. That way, he would have gotten two of the three seats and receive the full 18 bids worth of rewards. 18. But he wasn't. Never mind, Bob. Next time, eh? So that's how the bidding works. Sign up now for your chance to win one of the 320 seats.